because something is going on guys we are back with three bags and it's nine o'clock good morning guys um it's my second day back from camp and today we're kind of doing more of things to get back into reality so i have practice this morning but i have to take off all of my bracelets because i have to wear my wrist wraps and i have no idea even where my shoes are or where my wrist wraps are the necklaces aren't as important so i don't think i'm gonna take them off but my bracelets i have to take off i don't know okay whatever so basically the plan for today i'm going to practice i don't know what we're doing today i haven't even checked but we're going to practice and then after i have paint on my watch because i painted my rock yesterday i'll show you guys that soon but from the first day at camp, we did like a mud thing and my bracelets are like stained with mud, but it's okay. Anyways, so basically, um, so today I'm gonna go to practice. I have to make breakfast still, but I don't know what to make and I'm not really hungry, so I'll figure that out in a second. But today we're doing snatch. Okay, there's two snatches. Jerk from blocks, lovely. Okay, um, barbell back squat, push press, that pull down so that should take me about an hour and then i want to go to goodwill i want to go thrift shopping so hopefully after that we can go because there's a goodwill like right next to where i work out so hopefully my mom will do that but i don't know if she's picking me up or if my dad is so we'll see and then after that I have, i'm gonna film two videos one of them is gonna be basically like you guys ask me questions about camp, so I'm gonna be answering those for It's Me Alley, I think. And then the second one is a Halar video, another one, because they sent me some more stuff. And then I need to go back to school shopping, but I don't think that's gonna be today. But tomorrow I also have a busy day because tomorrow, but tomorrow I practice at 10.30 again. And then I have an appointment at 12 for my shoulders, which is very much needed because it's so much pain was like going on during camp so another appointment for that and then at two i have my dentist appointment to pick up my invisalign so basically this is probably what we're gonna do i'm gonna go to practice at 10 30 i'll be done at 11 30 i'll leave a little early so i can make it to my appointment at 12 that usually takes like an hour or more and then from there we'll just probably go get food because it's like it's like right next to where my dentist appointment is so i'll probably just go get food to waste some time and then go to my dentist appointment and then after that, um, probably gonna hang out with Uriel because I really haven't seen him in a week. I saw him yesterday morning for like five minutes, but not that wasn't very long. And we are have to read our notebooks to each other. And what I want to do is I want to go to the beach and get popos and read our notebooks to each other because kind of want it to be like because we haven't been with each other for a long time, so it kind of feels like weird, like off. So I want it to be like a refreshment and that's something like that's where he asked me out and like popo always makes everything better so i want to do that so hopefully we can do that that's pretty much the plan for this week besides that don't know what else i will be doing okay we literally start school let's let's go through this real quick oh wait also today so today i'm gonna film my two videos after practice and hopefully goodwill and then filming my two videos and then at six i have it's kind of it's called campaigners which is just following up with everything we learned at camp and it's going to be something we do weekly until school starts and then we're going to do club which is kind of like what we did at camp like fun and then we also learn so we're going to be doing that as well but they want to hang out before so we'll probably hang out before but anyways we have okay we have four weeks till school starts four weeks and two days until school starts which i don't want to talk about it but that means back to school shopping i need to go back to school supply shopping and then i need to go back to school clothes shopping which is that's my favorite so i'm excited for that but besides that i'm not excited anyways that's it for right now see you guys a little later here's my little blade bracelet stuff right now but Guys, I was waiting here for Allison. I was painting, but she texted me that she's done. It's already 11.26. She said that she would like to go to the Goodwill, but I don't know if she changed her mind. Let's see. We will keep you updated. My arm hurts so bad. So now you have to have therapy. Yeah, tomorrow. But I got my singlet. Oh, with your name? Yeah, ready. Let me see. Ali G. Oh, it's called. A ver, Oh, Ali, no Alison. Ali oh, G. Ali. 
That's cool. So now let's gonna call Ali some Ali G. So do you wanna go to the Goodwill or to help? But I need to ice it when I get home and then tonight I have to do heat, ice, stretch. Heat, ice and stretch. Yeah, but then it hurts so bad. It's like not even my shoulder that much anymore. Now it's like my elbow. And it's like it's just it goes all the way through my fingertips. It's like a sensation that starts in the up It's a narrow, maybe. And then goes all the way down and it hurts. It's only that arm too. It feels numb all the time. It's a whole nervio. Guys, we are back with three bags. Alison have one. I have two more, but we will show you the whole later. Because I need to eat something for my stomach or take something for my stomach. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a haul. And I have to kind of hurry up on everything I have to do today because I have things to do. So, haul. This is my mom's stuff. She got, she got a dress. Looks like this, that, it's like pink, purpley color. Um, and then she got this, which, is this for sleeping? Yeah. Okay, it's a little nightgown. And then she got these comfy pants, maybe for sleeping, maybe not, I can't tell. Then she got these little razors that we use all the time. Then she got this little workout tank top, even though she refuses to go to the gym. And then she got, I think this is another workout tank top that she won't be using because she won't go to the gym with me. Then I have my singlet, and then we have my stuff. Um, I got these pants. They're from Gap, but they're kind of like jeans, but kind of not. I don't know. They look like this. They're really cute. In my opinion, they're like a cream white color. Kind of cute. And then I got this top. <laughs> Then I got this top. It's like super different, but I was like, I can't pass up, pass it up. Like, even though it's like different, I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with. I just kind of wanted it. And it was three bucks. I was like, whatever. It was like on extra sale. So I got it. It looks like this. It has like this little button right here. I think it'd be cuter if it didn't have this button. And I think I can take the button off. Yeah, I think I could take the button off and it'd just be like a normal tank top without it. But it has like all these colors. So I thought it was really cute. So, and it also has like these pockets right here. So, yeah, thought it was really cute, so I got that. And then I got this shirt, which it's really long, so I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit so that it's not like a dress. Looks like this, it's for school, for so I can wear leggings. It just says Taylor University, whatever it says. But yeah, just looks like this. It's just really big, so I have to cut it just a teeny bit. And then this is not mine. This is, I don't even know. Oh, it's a little jacket. Looks like that, I don't know who it's for, but there's that and then we have this shirt and inside we have a very interesting cup i don't know why my mom picked it out because i personally don't think it's that cute but a cup because she doesn't have enough and then this is like the same as the other shirt it's a different color and has different stuff but it's a little bit big so i'm gonna have to cut it but i needed shirts like these for school so just got this one this one oh this one also says taylor university but it's purple. So yeah, there's that. And then I got this shirt, also just different, but I thought it was cute. So I got it. And it just looks like it's from the brand, I don't even know. But it looks like this. And I thought it was pretty cute. And it looked good with the pants, so I got it. And then my mom got another workout tank top. It's just a black workout tank top. And then she got, she literally complained about going to the Goodwill and she got more than I did. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but she got it. Very, very long. But now, I'm gonna just take the tuck. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. I kinda wanna eat, oh, so I think I'm gonna eat. Okie dokie, guys. The Uber is back. Vamos, Emily. You know that Alison is always doing something. Well, Emily and me, we enjoy oh, yeah. so much being at home. Oh, we have know? an amazing week together, Emily. Uh, Do you, you answer know my question? white shoes that I got at like, the end of the school year? White shoes? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, you do. No, I don't know. The, that I went to the, mom, the white shoes that I got new at the end of the school year. What happened? I don't know where they are. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm asking you know Emily, I was asking you, you have a good time with me alone. Yes. Okay. What happened with this back here on the floor? I need to do my hair. <laughs> I washed my hair last night, but I have to do a blow dry. But she's ready to leave super soon. She doesn't like to be at home. Comment down below if you are like that 
or if you are like me and Emily that we love to be in our house everybody's different we have to accept the people the way they are so the Uber is back and I have to drop Alice on a racetrack because her friend is gonna pick her up there and Emily's hungry and she's going to buy a racetrack some food and my stomach oh my god my stomach guys is killing me La acidez que tengo me está matando. It's, all, it's always something with my stomach. Thanks, guys. I have my doctor appointment in two days. So hopefully I have some answer. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Woo! It's hot, hot, hot. Emily bought some pimple pat, patch, patch. I don't know how you say that. And I'm wearing three because my hormonal are all over the places. That means I have pimple like a 15 years old or or if I'm a teenager, you know? But no, I'm almost a hundred years old and full of pimple. No, you're I'm 30 turning 36 this year. I know, but I think I'm gonna go to the dermatology because something is going on with my skin that I'm not happy about it. My skin has luckily gotten better. Yeah, but you change your routine. Yeah. At first, it was kind of just like nothing. And now, now I use one thing. Can you thing. hold this? Oh my god. It's I look greasy. I have surgery in three days. Yes. Are you excited? No. And she asked me a question that is very smart question. And the question is Can I eat before? Or do I, I have don't to, like, have fast? the answer. It's no. At the fast? Whenever I went, I couldn't eat. Okay, but I need to but, double check. But didn't you just, you got teeth taken out. I know, I went under. I don't know, we have to call to ask. Anyway, Emily, it's at 10.30. Normally you wake up oh at one God. and you don't eat. Yeah. So I think you can hold that day. Mm. But maybe I have to bring. And you won't be able to eat after either because you won't be able to like chew. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. And, but either way, you right after. Like smoothie she can yeah. now use a straw for yeah. 15 days. Use a spoon. Yeah. I can't use a straw for two weeks, or spit, or rinse my mouth. Yeah. Anyways, uh, right after the appointment, I have to go to the orthodontist anyways. Yeah, and tomorrow, Alison has the needles appointment and the orthodontist appointment. Yep. I didn't even ice my shoulder. I was supposed to. But you said at night, and you're no. gonna come. I was supposed to, like, right when I got home. Oh, wow. Guys, Alison left already. Their friend picked her up yeah. here, so Emily went inside racetrack. I got a blue raspberry icy, a spicy chicken, gum, and some candy. So let's go home. Hey guys, we just left the house on my way to practice, and my mom, when she drops me off, she's gonna go to my aunt's house. She's yes, guys, I cannot work out lately because I have a pain. She hurt her foot. I don't know how. But I have to take care of my food first. Okay, I need to finish it off with a savory Nutella with acai granola. Look how amazing is Kaylee thingy to dry her hair. <laughs> dry my hair? Oh, Mom, hair nail. Okay, okay, guys. I went to my sister's house to spend some time with them. They they went to Atlanta, Georgia for Kendrick's games, and they spent like five or six day there so I went there and I have so much fun I have a clip on my phone that I'm gonna insert here I did Kaylee's nails because she bought a kit on Amazon with all the supplies so I love to do manicure so I did it for her and we talk we laugh it was so much fun but right now I'm here waiting for Emily so Alison is at a restaurant with her friend and then i don't know if i have to pick her up or if she's gonna have someone to bring her home no idea not yet so i will let you know later peace out guys we are back home and it's nine o'clock because this lady over here is staying at the place doing what emily uh, i was practicing with my snack fruit yes so look 902 902 yeah, because she's the one who has to hold the girl. Well, me and another girl. Yeah. And she said she wants to be the one that fly in the air, but... It's a lot easier. I know, but it's not 
possible. And Rafael is on the phone like always and it smells like soup. I bet he cooked soup for me because my stomach was on fire. Does it make it worse though? No, but see you later guys. <laughs> well, she's back. 9.58. Two minutes before curfew. Mm-hmm. I said 10. Okay, anyways. So we went to Chick-fil-A and then we went back to Maddie's house, picked up a car and then drove to Dachos is where we hung out. And we just went in the pool. We did a whirlpool like we did at camp where you like all run around the side of the pool and then it creates like a whirlpool. So we did that and we just hung out and then we were in the pool for like an hour and then we played Mafia, which is a game that we played like um, on the bus ride home from camp and everything. We went to... Um, campaigners and we when we first got there it was literally just our group and then our two leaders and we played ping pong we, and we played around the world which is basically like you have to like run around the ping pong table and hit it and stuff it's it's fun and we played ping pong and then we played musical chairs and it hurt so bad because he kept pushing me because you had to hold on to the person in front of you and he was pushing me so hard and i fell and then i got out so yeah so we played um musical chairs and then we did a little bit of reading we, okay then we went to dq and we got ice cream so here this is all of us at al capulco uh, i don't like saying the name so i'm obviously saying it wrong acapulco acapulco, acapulco. and this was all, all of us at dq because we got ice cream uh -huh. and this is us at DQ. i think we're gonna say good night guys we're gonna keep talking here peace out